Back out at the range today with some familiar cast members like my Ruger Precision 308 that has been in a bunch of videos. So I decided to try something new today. I brought along my work laptop to show you guys some sick Excel tips and tricks to save you some minutes at the office. Kidding, of course. Flying Hellfish for any Simpsons fans. The backpack is to illustrate how portable this newest addition to the channel is. This is my CZ Scorpion Evo uh, S1, quote unquote, pistol with a quote unquote arm brace. It has had some work done. Uh, SBA tactical brace, Yeti works grip, Holosun uh, circle dot, safety is aftermarket, charging handle aftermarket, and it has had some trigger work done. The trigger is factory from the outside but I sent it out uh, to be lightened up. It's still not the best trigger in the world. It's a lot better than factory though. And to prove it, I'm out here at 100 yards, which is nothing too impressive. But if you look out there, there is a eight inch plate, six inch plate, and 10 inch plate that's uh, left to right. Uh, and I'm gonna try to stretch the legs on this little thing. The Scorpion has a 7.7 .7 inch barrel, something like that. It is really handy, as I illustrated in the backpack, uh, you can fold this Brace. if you don't want to take a full-size uh, long gun bag to the range. That makes this thing pretty fun, because you can do CQB, you can shoot steel up close, which you can't do with a rifle, uh, and you can also reach out a little bit and touch something, which is hard to do with a pistol, which this is, according to the ATF, which makes sense. So let's see how it does. Uh, currently has a... 32 rounds aftermarket magazine in it. Looks really cool. Steel feed lips. Uh, I'm not gonna use this today because I'm shooting off a bag. So this 20 round factory CZ magazine is gonna be a lot more handy. These have plastic feed lips. My understanding is people had some failures of the feed lips early on. I don't know if that was ever rectified. I haven't had any issues. Hopefully I never do. Um, inside we have 20 rounds of Tula. 115 grain. Um, this is the box if you want to see what peak performance looks like. Um, this stuff is made so consistently that in two different batches I have uh, half silver tipped bullets and half uh, looks like copper tipped bullets. So let's see how it does. You know it's very consistent when the bullets don't even look the same. 100 yards, CZ Scorpion Evo uh, quote unquote pistol. Let's get it done. I know this is what everyone came to see. A little HK slap action. Gonna start with the 10 on the right. Moving over to the eight on the left. Be a little ambitious. Six inch gong in the middle. All right, not on that mag. Let's see if we can't make that happen. Yeah, the trigger, like I said, is not the best. Uh, it's a single stage, it's a pretty heavy pull. If I'm not mistaken, when it was factory, it pulled over 10 pounds. I think it was the heaviest pull of any gun I own, including my 1930s Mosin the Gant. Uh, but I sent it out. I will link the person who did it in the video description. If I'm allowed to do that, I don't know. YouTube seems pretty fun with that kind of stuff these days. Uh, in any case, I want to say it pulls between five and six pounds now. There's still some creep to it. Um, I prefer two stage over single stage triggers as a rule, but it's not too bad.
All right, I am not gonna quit on a miss. All right, just five more. If you can't tell, this thing goes through ammo really quick. It was a lot of fun. That was a solid few hits. Um, to be honest, I could lay here plinking all day. This thing is just a blast. Um, super impressed with it. Very little in the way of hiccups. I don't think I've had a malfunction yet. Um, and yeah, it is really portable. That's probably my favorite thing. Don't always want to leave the house with a rifle bag if it's a quick trip to the range. This thing you can really reach out if you need to and um, folds up nice and compact. So I want to thank all the viewers. I want to thank the ATF for uh, saying that it is no longer a felony to shoulder these things, even if it is an accident. That was a lot of accidents in a row on my part, but what can I say? I am a clumsy accountant over here. Um, hopefully they don't shoot my dog. Stay tuned, guys. Got more content coming up. Um, and we'll catch you next time.